Hello everyone! Thank you for tuning in to the Wasabi Aquarium channel. Today's video is part 3 of how to make your water squeaky clean and we will be getting rid of dust particles inside your aquarium. As you may know, we've previously covered two videos on different ways to clean your water so I would strongly recommend everyone to watch episode 1 and 2 first before moving any further. Just to recap, we went over three different reasons and causes on why your water could not be as transparent as it should. The first potential cause was the filter and the status of the bacteria inside your aquarium. The second cause was the dust particles and the third was dirt caused by color stains. In today's video, we will deep dive into the second cause the dust particles and how to get rid of them as well as preventing them from appearing again. So first of all, an excess amount of dust particles inside your aquarium can cause the water to look foggy. Ideally, this problem should be solved by your regular water changes that you do consistently and the dust particles should decrease the more you change your water. So of course, the first thing I would do is see if your regular water change procedures solves this issue. If it does not, there is a possibility that this is caused by something more fundamental, so I would like you to check the following two areas of your aquarium where this cause could potentially lie. The first place, as you can see over here, we have the external filter system. Sorry, it's actually pretty difficult to see the glass and the Leary pipe here on this aquarium, but there's an intake where the water goes inside through the Leary pipe. The point to check here is the distance between this intake and your soil. As we've also suggested for aquarium layouts, a lot of people like to pile the soil into a slope one thing to watch out for is that if the soil is too close to the intake of the Leary pipe, the soil could be sucked inside. As you may know, soil is very light and can easily float and be sucked into the Leary pipe. If this is occurring inside your aquarium, the Leary pipe will continue to suck out the soil and your water will continue to be foggy no matter how many times you change your water. So first things first, take a look at the distance between your soil and the intake of your Leary pipe. If you find that your intake is indeed too close to your soil, one way to solve this would be to lift the Leary pipe and attach it at a higher position if your pipe comes with a rubber hook like this. If not, there are short or small sized Leary pipes such as the Mini V1 or Mini V2 which would definitely raise the height of the intake so this could be an alternative solution to this issue. One thing to note is to not use straightener sponges as they would most likely clog the pipe so try to solve this issue by just physically raising the height of the Leary pipe and increase the distance between the intake and the soil. The second place to check for the cause of dust particles inside your aquarium is if you are using a filter that is too strong for the size of your aquarium. Of course, it is great to have a filter that has a high spec, but at the same time, if it is too strong, the filter could blow off the soil and cause the inside of your aquarium to be almost like a washing machine. This would also make your water foggy no matter how many times you thoroughly change your water. So these are the two points to check inside your aquarium that could potentially be the cause of your water being foggy, especially with dust particles. One point to note when changing your water if your aquarium has excess dust particles is that a lot of small pieces of dirt and other particles tend to be present on the leaves of your water plants, especially the ones in the lower areas of your aquarium. So, whenever you change the water of your aquarium, it is important to suck these particles off from the leaves with a hose while doing so, so that they do not remain after you change your water. 
we are actually in the midst of creating a series of videos that go in depth on the proper maintenance procedures, including water change. So please make sure to stay subscribed to our channel. So now, if you do change your water on a consistent basis and your water is still somehow foggy, we now have to physically remove the dust particles from your aquarium. Mm -hmm. So next we will go into detail on how to actually get rid of the dust particles that are floating inside your tank. This over here is the JetFilter ES150 by ADA, which we will be using as an example for this section. The method we will be explaining can be used for almost any external filter, so don't worry if you do not have an ADA filter. So first let's open the lid right here and you'll see a plate, so remove this too. Usually what you'll see below the plate is a bag filled with filtering material that will be taking up the entire space inside your filter. What we're going to do is remove some of this to create some space at the top and then we're going to add some wool. The wool is sewed very tightly, tighter than the filter, so the dust particles will all be caught inside the wool and will not reach the filtering material. Now some of you may think, then why not just keep the wool inside the external filter the entire time rather than only when there are dust particles. However, as mentioned earlier, wool is sewn very tightly and has barely any space for substances to pass through so this could block a good amount of water from flowing in and out of your filter which is definitely not good if your aquarium is already in a healthy state. So, I would only implement this method if you're struggling with dust particles. At our store, we use this large wool mat and cut it to fit the size of each filter. I'm pretty sure each filter does have its own wool product for these types of issues, but it's actually more convenient to have this large mat ready to cut any time at any size as it can accommodate various types of filters. For anyone who has ever used a wool mat or does not know where you can find them, I'll leave some links in the description below. So now, we're going to go ahead and cut this wool mat to fit this jet filter like this. And then we're gonna just place it gently on top of the filtering material. Make sure to fill in any gaps with leftover wool so that the dust particles do not pass right through the wool and the gaps. I wouldn't make the wool too thick as the amount of water that passes in and out will decrease and you don't want that to happen too much. So once you've placed your wool inside the filter, put the small plate and your lid back on and you're ready to go. Now all of your dust particles should get stuck inside the wool and your water should become clean over time. Of course, as the particles pile up inside the wool, it will definitely start to clog the filter itself, so after several days, you would have to open up your filter and clean off all of the particles on your wool with tap water. When cleaning your wool, you do not have to worry about washing off the important bacteria as most of the essential bacteria probably have moved down into your filters already. So just make sure you remove all of the excess particles with tap water. When doing this, if you notice that your wool contains quite a lot of particles, then there is a high chance that this was definitely the cause of your water being dirty. If not, the cause may be in other places 
such as the bacteria, but at least you were able to eliminate one of the potential causes. In addition to setting a piece of wool inside your filter, if you would like to capture and remove even smaller particles, there is a liquid water conditioner called Clear Water by ADA. If you add some drops of this clear water inside your aquarium, these droplets bring together the microscopic particles together to make larger particles that are more easy to observe and capture. This comes in very handy when you feel like the wool is not eliminating all if not enough of the particles inside your water, so please feel free to give it a try. If the particles are too small, there is a chance that they go right through the wool and back into your aquarium. So this ADA clear water is a very easy and useful solution. However, there are several important terms and conditions when using liquid solutions like this one. So please make sure to carefully read through the instruction sheet before adding this into your aquarium. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If the water inside your aquarium is caused by excess small particles, the procedures we went through today should definitely help you solve this issue and your water should become more and more transparent and clean as you repeat these steps. Please do note that if the causes lie elsewhere such as the bacteria or your filter that we touched upon in the previous videos, Please try prevention methods for that, uh, for those that correspond with each cause. As you can see, it is pretty difficult to tell what the exact cause of dirty water can be, so it's important to be patient and go through several trials and errors. So, if you do remove the excess particles in the water with the procedures we explained today but your water is still dirty or foggy, it is almost likely that the cause is your bacteria which we went through the correct prevention methods in the previous video. In the next video of this series, we will go through the causes and solutions to your water being dirty because of color stains. If you have any additional questions or comments regarding any of the content that we discussed today, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. Although we may not be able to answer each question individually, we will create additional content based on the popular questions that we receive. If you found today's video helpful, please leave a comment, like, and make sure to subscribe to the Wasabi Aquarium channel. We will continue to create helpful content for aquarium lovers, so your continuous support would be very much appreciated. That's it for today. Thank you.